Hello, welcome to the Benicia Public Library sun print video. Right now, we are outside the library near the fountain doors. Look, I'll show you the front door. There we are. Here's the fountain. Here we are. And this is where the action is. This is a sun print. It is cooking for two minutes. Um, you will notice that, well, you won't notice because I haven't shown you yet, that um, this, my timer started two minutes ago and it is going right now. And we are watching the time go by. Yes, because the timing here is very important with sun prints because it's kind of like cooking. There's a certain amount of chemistry here and if you don't get the chemistry quite right, it's not going to work very well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see what's on here. I took a lot of materials from your summer reading packets. I also took a bonus rubber band that I found and a bonus rock that was at my desk. That's the round thing up at the top left. Um, the key is also from my desk. But then I have um, one of the brads, which are those brass um, things that you use to attach things with. And then a bunch of the stars, which are not showing up here, but they're very cool. And I think that they might make a really neat design. So we're going to check that out in just a minute. Um, it's a little hard to see here, but the paper is getting lighter and lighter as we go because uh, that's how sun prints work. They start out pretty dark blue and then they get lighter. And so this recommended, the instructions that you have, which are uh, in your packet, recommended that you um, pin this to some cardboard. That was not super essential. Whoa. That was not super essential. My timer just went off, so we're gonna take this indoors and I'm gonna keep talking about the pinning it down. The, you get like an action cam. Okay, sun print going indoors because it's very pale. We are going inside the library because you wanna do this next part where you're getting it wet indoors because, okay, look what happened. Here is the sun print paper. What? You can see the different shapes. All right, I have a plate here with water and it is going into the water for another minute. So I am going to time one minute on here. Um, I have my phone here that is timing everything for me. You can also just count one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Um, yeah, so, okay, back to what I was saying. Um, I wanna point out some of the shapes here because we're gonna see a cautionary tale. Um, you don't have to pin it down to cardboard, although the directions here recommend that you do. Um, it's going to, the sun print part is going to work out just fine without it being pinned down. However, however, the part where you really wanna pin it down is after you've gotten it wet for a minute because that is when it's going to start um, curling up on the edges. We're gonna see the, a finished product. I made one a little bit ago and gave it time to dry. And we're gonna see how that turned out. Um, this video is by way of being a cautionary tale. I did a lot of things wrong. <laughs> so um, here are some of the things. Um, you'll notice this is a really, really neat rock, right? It is super cool. It looks like an eye, somebody, uh, dear to me made it for me a while ago. It lives at my desk. However, on a sun print, here's how it turns out. By the way, I'm taking this out. The sun print has just come out of the water. It is going to sit on some paper towels and get dry for a few minutes. So, as long as it's in the shade, it can actually go back outside, which is a great place for things that are wet. All right, but let's look at what I did here. Okay, cautionary tale, as I said. Okay. That cool rock that I showed you, the one that looked kind of like an eye here, this one right here. Yeah, it just looks like a circle. <laughs> so you really wanna be careful what shapes you put on your sun print. Hopefully you are not watching this video and doing the things at the same time. Um, you'll notice that the key, the rubber band, and the brad all reflected pretty well, and so did this, the rock. So if you really just wanted a circle, this kind of looks like a moon there, that's great. However, what don't you see here that was on the original? That's right, the stars were on my original, but because they are these kind of cool, translucent, glow-in-the-dark stars, they look great on this folder where they're sitting, 
but they do not look good on a sun print. You can barely see them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because you can see really, really faintly some of the stars. In fact, you might need better light for it. Oh, up at the top there, you can see kind of there's the point of the star and then it goes out and then it goes down. You can barely see the stars. So please be careful about what materials you use for your sun prints. Um, take the timing seriously and really have fun. Sun prints are awesome. Uh, you'll notice too, by the way, look how it's curled up. It's dry. It is curled up. That is why pinning it down on cardboard at the later stages makes a lot of sense. At the earlier stages, it doesn't really matter. And obviously when it's in the water, don't put it on cardboard because that's just not going to work at all. All right. Have fun.